Oh yeah, she is a squatting. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to be testing out the Chevy's towing capabilities a little bit. Towing 6,000 pounds of its 9,200 pound maximum towing capabilities. Behind me right now I have a 2,200 pound U-Haul car trailer and we'll be towing my 2001 Jeep Grand Cherokee to a friend's house who's buying it from me. And that thing weighs about 3,800 pounds itself. So about 6,000 pounds. This truck can tow about 9,200 pounds like I said and not all fifth gen chevys and gmc's can tow 9200 pounds it definitely varies depending on a lot of different options like this is the 5.3 liter v8 six-speed automatic transmission 342 gears four-wheel drive double cab standard bed and that gives you 9200 pounds like for example if you, if you had this exact same cab setup and everything with 308s you can only tow like 6400 pounds but say you had the same exact setup with uh, 373s, you're able to tow about 10,800 pounds. So definitely check your owner's manual before just towing something to, to make sure that you're capable of towing it. So today we're gonna be towing about 6,000 pounds. So about two thirds of this truck's maximum towing capacity. And I am kind of upset because the U-Haul trailer that I have right now does not hook up with trailer brakes. So it has its own automatic hydraulic trailer brake. So it's just hooked up right now with the four flat. I don't have control of it. And if you are a return viewer, thank you so much for watching. You know, last week I installed a Takansha Prodigy P3 brake controller for the truck, anticipating this tow and my move in the next couple weeks. But um, this tow, I'm not gonna be able to use the uh, brake controller and show you guys the features I wanted to show you guys, just because this trailer does not hook up, you know, with the trailer brakes. It has its own automatic hydraulic brake, so. Truck there, trailer there. Jeep over there in the corner. Real quick, I do have to jump start this thing before I get it up on the trailer. It's like real weird or some kind of short or bad ground somewhere. If the Jeep sits for like a day or two, it has to be jump started to start. But then once it's running and everything, it's fine. I could drive it, I could park it. Uh, a couple hours later, I could get back in, start it up, drive it just as it was normal. But it's been sitting out for about a week without me driving it, so I do have to jump start it. If any of you guys out in the audience uh, have any clue what that might be, let me know and I will let the new owner of the Jeep know. I'm sure he will appreciate it greatly. The turn signals do not work but the flashers do. So maybe it has something to do with that, I'm not sure. But we'll get this thing jump started and then we'll get this thing loaded up on the U-Haul. She runs! Oh yeah! 230,000 miles. We are all loaded up. She is strapped down, ready to go. The truck is squatting like nobody's business right now. Um, what we're gonna do is we are going to reset our uh, trip A. I'm gonna reset the, the average fuel economy so that way we can see what we get while towing. And then we're gonna re actually reset the last 50 and the best 50 as well. I wanna see what the best 50 I could get is while towing this so and then definitely we're going to throw this girl in drive you see we got the trailer pop up there we're going to use tow haul mode for sure and real quick i want to go on a flat surface somewhere and see exactly how badly this thing squats oh yeah she is a squatting Woo! So far I've gone about two miles down the road to a flat surface just to kind of check it out and she's definitely squatting like a bitch. Um, you can see it is laying on the helper springs. The camera focuses right. She is on the helpers. The only thing that's a little concerning to me is the overall tongue weight but with these U-Haul trailers you do have to pull the Jeep up all the way in order to strap the tire down. So, so far for this two miles it seems 
actually okay. It pulls it fine. It stops fine so far. It's just really, really squatting. And I know it is only a 1500 truck, so it's going to squat pretty good, but god damn. All right, it's enough messing around. I gotta get this thing delivered. catching up to some Pittsburgh traffic here so figured it's a good time to chat so far the trucks pull it really good it's been pulling this really well you only really notice it when it's on big hills and stuff like that other than that it's pulling better than I thought it would so far I'm about 30 miles into my trip actually 28.5 miles into my trip averaging 13.3 miles per gallon my best 50, it says the last 50 was 13.9. The best is still at 15.4, and that's what it was at when I reset it back at the house, so I haven't even come close to touching it. And then the only thing, I've been keeping my eye on the transmission fluid temperature. It peaked at 198 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, it hasn't gone any higher than that. It's been ranging from like 190 to 198 the entire time. The only reason why I've been keeping my eye on it is because these half ton trucks do not have a separate transmission cooler. All the piping and stuff runs right through the radiator for the engine and transmissions are not able to uh, heat up to the temperature that engines can. So it's always like, when towing kind of heavy, it's always good to keep your eye on that so that way you don't want to, you don't want to fry your transmission basically. But I feel like it's been doing pretty well so far. And then once again, like I said, the only thing that's concerning to me is like the tongue weight. I do feel like this truck is slammed in the rear. You can definitely feel it. But with the U-Haul trailer, you do have to pull the vehicle up all the way uh, to strap it down there, the front wheels down. So I, I don't know, maybe it is okay. I don't, I don't have a tongue weight scale, so I don't really know what the tongue weight is. I just do know that uh, this thing is slammed on its helper springs. And uh, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's been towing fine so far. It feels good. Um, it pulls pretty nice. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty impressed. I'll be honest with you, pretty impressed. So we're about 10 minutes out from the drop off and uh, I'll catch up with you guys there. <laughs> All right, guys, just like that truck trailer. Jeep's right here, that's Ryan, he's the new owner of this thing. He's starting a YouTube channel for the build. It is uh, Pittsburgh Jeeps, I will link his information down below. Overall though, Chevy did a pretty good tone this thing. That's 6,000 pounds here, I'll show you, uh, I'll show you the final statistics here. Overall, 36.7 miles averaging about 12.9 miles per gallon with the 6,000 pounds. Yeah, the average, when I reset it, when I reset the average of 15.4, I never came close to touching it again, so it looks like my last average, 50 average was 13.2. And with all that being said, I gotta go return this U-Haul trailer before they charge me more money. Um, if you liked the video, please smash that thumbs up button for me. If you are not a subscriber, please smash that sub button for me. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers, and uh, I will see you guys next week.